of evenings ago I had the pleasure of spending some time with a dear old friend of mine. We sat on our front porch, at your back porch, drank ourselves a couple of tall forties. They talked about old times. Well, I drank a couple of tall forties. She insisted on drinking PBR. I said, woman, we're in your back porch. No hipsters can see you here. Why are you drinking PBR? And she says, I like my PBR. She says, I like my PBR like I like my men, full of piss and water. And I said, well, that's a coincidence, because I like my women like I like my Coke 45, full of shit. <laughs> we laughed, talked about some old times, and as the PBR on the mall liquor began to flow, the talk started to get a little serious. We started to talk about favorite beverages, and that turned into favorite lovers. And once we started talking about favorite lovers, we started talking about the one. You know the one I'm talking about? The one who got away. The one with whom we never shared an unhappy day. Everybody's got one. He's got one. I got one. You got one. They got one. I see some men and women here tonight with somebody. They're not with the one. They're just with some other dude or some chick. The one resides in the deep recesses of their mind. Unobtainable and perfect in every way. Our friend said, you know, it's a coincidence that we're talking about the one because the one got in touch with me a few weeks ago. Wanted to get together. Oh, I loved him so much. I loved him so much, I tattooed my name on his arm. I said, what, you tattooed your name on his arm? And she said, yes. He was sleeping on my hammock and I inked him. But well, we hadn't talked for about five years after that. Out of the blue, he calls me, says he wants to get together. I said, this sounds serious. She says, hmm, it could have been serious if he had asked me out to dinner. Instead, he asked to meet me at a Starbucks. Well, I said, you know, there's a lot of serious things you could say over double latte. There ain't a whole lot of serious talk you can make with a woman when she's got a shellfish in her grill and she's wearing an unflattering bib. Well, my friend looked at me like I hadn't said anything. And she continued talking. Regardless, I met him at the Starbucks. And things soon progressed. And the evening was soon upgraded to my apartment. Where we climbed up a flight of stairs and made sweet, sweet love. Oh, it was wonderful for the first day or two. But after I got to spend time with the one, the one who got away, the one with whom I never shared an unhappy day. And I realized, he's just some other dude. No better or worse than any of the placeholders that came before or hence. They were placeholders. They were just taking up the time. I said, placeholders? She said, yes. You know, when you watch the Academy Awards and you get up to get your statuette, they send somebody else to sit in your seat so the Oscars don't look ill-attended. Placeholders, they're just taking up the time. Well, I said, you know, it's a coincidence, too, that we're talking about the one because a couple of... Weeks ago, the one, the one that I thought was the one who got away, the one with whom I never shared an unhappy day, she recently friended me on Facebook, and we've been going back and forth for about a month now. And I found out that I like Dexter, and she likes Dexter. I like Dr. Pepper, and she likes Dr. Pepper. I thought maybe there was still something there. My friend looked at me and said, You know, I think if you were going to spend some time with that woman, you would find that she's just some other chick, just some other lady. I said, You could be right about that started me thinking
to yourself. It might be the electrician, I'm expecting him to call. Suddenly her voice changed. Who's got to 